Nothing is more simple than the loops in React.js and in every JavaScript applications. Uh, let's say that we would have a list of fruits, so we got apples, okay, then we got bananas, okay, and then we got oranges. In a regular HTML file, that's what you would do. You would do a list like this, okay? The thing is that here, it's hard-coded. Um, let's say that we would have actually a fruits array with different elements inside here as a string, apple, banana, and oranges. You can loop through this array to display every element. In order to do so, you would need to use the uh, simple brackets syntax of React to call JavaScript inside your GSX. So here I can call fruits, but what's going to happen is that here the fruits are going to be displayed as one string. What we want to do is to use the power of JavaScript, so we're going to use map. Okay, Map is a function that is going to pass to um, on every element and is able to provide some action, for instance, to change the value or to uh, do some interaction okay, with the string. Later, we're going to replace the string by object, and you, you will see that we can go deeper into this explanation. Okay, so here we got fruit, okay, fruit, and I'm going to call fruit. And here I can display a list element for every fruit that I got. So I can call my list element. And inside my list element, so I'm going to go to the line to be cl more clear. There we go. I can display the fruit itself. The fruit here, it's an abstraction of every element uh, that uh, actually the map passes on the fruits array. And suddenly we got exactly the same example. Okay, so this is how you can loop through element. And let's say if I am adding kiwis or whatever, it's going to add as much element as you got in your fruits array. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing, it's that um, here we need to do something. We need to identify every element. So here we got 0, 1, 2, 3. Because in an array, the first element uh, begins at 0. Okay. Um, React needs to understand at what line it is in case of you change the oranges here, for instance, by another fruit, let's say strawberry. Okay, so here dynamically you understand that it's strawberry that I want to change, but actually you need to add here a key. And this key, it can be here either the fruit, because we know that we don't get uh, duplicates in this array. Uh, for instance, if I would have strawberry twice, what I would need to do is not to use fruit instead, but to use the index provided in here, directly inside. Okay, so you need to identify, and suddenly we see that we got a side effect, we got different uh, elements. Uh, this bug appears because I didn't have the key previously. Now that I got the key, I don't get the bug again. Okay, so you need all the time, it's mandatory to add the key when you loop through uh, an array of elements. Okay, that's the second thing. The first thing is that let's try to change this map by a for each. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Suddenly, we can see that our loop disappear. Why? Because here, for each doesn't return anything and it doesn't provide any action on the actual list. You need to use a map to display every element all the time. So you are going to use map instead of for each. This is basic JavaScript. There are more explanation on other um, lessons, but that's better to use map in here. Now let's talk about something. Let's just try to remove these fruits that we got up here. Let's say that instead of fruits, we would have some numbers. Would it work? Of course, it will work also. It will display some uh, numbers. As long as you get numbers, it will display numbers. Now, let's try to become a little bit more complicated. Let's say that in inside your fruit, you would have instead a complicated object, okay? With here um, a title, a count, let's say that we would have 12, and we would have, uh, uh, for instance, options. And let's say that in those options, we would have a complicated one. So title, let, let's say that for apples, we would have um, golden, okay? And then we would have account, and then let's say that we would have eight, etc., etc. okay? Down there, suddenly, I have nothing appearing. And I don't even have the object appearing uh, as we could have under Vue.js or Next. 
here what we need to do is to decompose here the model so let's say that if i want to show my fruit here i would put fruit.title and there we go i got my title now let's say that down there i would have like a banana and let's say that the count would be eight and the title uh, would be like uh, uh, let's say that it would come from uh, angola okay i got bananas from angola and all of them are like this uh, i would have a complex uh, here object that i would like to decompose uh, through my loop okay so here i got my list item i got my food title and here probably I can construct a complicated object, I mean a complicated, a mo most complex object. Let's say that here I would have a span and I would have a quantity and here it's going to be fruit.count, okay? And there we go. Okay, and after, remember, we got those options. What I could do is to do a loop through this option also. So let's say I would have a second list inside and what I would do is to do exactly the same. So here I would have fruit, fruit.options and I could do exactly the same, okay? So here we can see that I got here my uh, list and here exactly the same. What I would have is a key inside here my option. So here what I would do instead is to put here the option and here it would be the title golden and I would do exactly, actually I could just copy paste that and instead of having the fruit, I would have my option and here I would have my quantity just after. So here I can see that I got something that is not very nice visually. I can just add this for the demonstration. And there we go. So we just saw that through my map, I can build complex list that I can render like this, okay? We just saw that whatever is the model of our array, we can loop through this array and display elements. For the object, it's not the case. I cannot loop through an object to display every key of this object this way. We would have to find another way to display an object like this. The specificity here is that my data is static. If you are fetching the data from another point, for example, an API, you would have probably to look at the lifecycle lessons to be sure that the data would be rendered down there. Because if there is no fruits, if your array is empty at the moment when React is going to render this part, nothing will appear here. And this is a really common bug and I'm pretty sure that in the comments I would already, already have a lot of questions about that. So you got to be careful with that. But most of the time when you render elements like this, just be sure that your um, array initially has the good model to be displayed down there through this map.